Hello and welcome back to Patient Knowledge. My name is Dr. Kirmani and this channel is all about health education. And today I will be talking about a vital organ in our body, liver. What are the things that can damage your liver? Many people are under the impression that alcohol is the only thing that can cause harm to your liver. Well, there's a plethora of things that can damage your liver. Do you lead a sedentary lifestyle? Have you been taking too many painkillers over the counter? Well, do you know that these could harm your liver? So let's get straight into it and find out more about it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the structure of liver, its functions, what are the causes of liver damage, what are the types of liver disease, what are the symptoms that one should look for in liver disease, how is it diagnosed and managed, and at the end of the video, I will give you a list of food that's healthy for your liver, so stay till the end. But to begin with, liver is the largest organ in our body, which is a triangular shaped organ that is covered by a sheath and it sits on the right hand side of the belly. It weighs about 1.5 to 3 kilos. It has a larger right lobe and a smaller left lobe and it's held in position by the ligaments that attaches it to the different organs of the body. Liver has a small sac-like structure called gallbladder that's attached to the liver and it stores bile. The bile is a digestive enzyme produced by the liver. Liver has a unique quality. Its cells called hepatocytes have a tendency to regenerate. So just in case liver gets damaged or if there's an infection or liver in the uh, infection or an injury to the liver, it can be regenerated easily. Liver is unique because it has got a dual blood supply. One directly from the heart and the other comes from the gut. Liver gets two-thirds of its blood supply via the portal vein that brings blood straight from the gut. Now, large volumes of blood flows through the liver, about 1.5 liters per minute, which accounts up to 2,000 liters per day. Talking about the functions of liver, why is liver a vital organ? Because it performs such important functions in our body. Digestion is one of the most important functions. It produces bile, which is a digestive enzyme, which aids in digestion. So whatever we eat and drink, it goes straight into the gut, where it gets digested, and then is processed further in the liver. Liver processes the food into three different types, fats, sugars, and proteins, and it stores them. Now, this processing takes place in the liver, and it also acts as a garbage truck, where it removes all the toxins from our body. So alcohol, drugs and any chemicals leaves any bad toxins in the body are removed by the liver. 75% of cholesterol is also produced by the liver. Liver is the powerhouse of our body since it stores fats, glycogen, proteins, iron and minerals. It also aids in blood sugar regulation and it helps in protecting our body by producing immune factors. Liver regulates blood clotting as well and it maintains optimum levels of hormones in our body. Now, many people are under the impression that alcohol is the only thing that can cause damage to the liver. Well, alcohol can damage in two ways. One is directly, another is indirectly by increasing the deposition of fat on the liver. People who lead a sedentary lifestyle tend to become obese. And this belly fat is harmful for the liver since this fat goes and sits on the liver as well. Those who um, prefer processed food, they do not know that they are damaging their liver because every processed food has got excess of sugar and too much of fat, which is bad for your liver. People who take too many painkillers over the counter are not aware that this painkiller is metabolized in the liver and it can damage the liver. Now the types of liver diseases, it can range from infection to the liver to genetic conditions and excess of fat accumulation on the liver. Namely, 
there are viral hepatitis, which is caused by hepatitis A, B, and C, fatty liver due to excess accumulation of fat on the liver, alcoholic liver disease caused by too much consumption of fat, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and NASH, which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, cancer of liver or hepatoma, and hemochromatosis is a genetic condition where there's a tendency to deposit excess of iron on the liver. Talking about the symptoms of liver disease, now before I go into the list of symptoms, I would like to mention that if the liver is damaged only 30 to 40 percent, it does not produce any symptoms and can function normally. Symptoms appear only when the damage is quite significant, about 60 to 70 percent. The symptoms can range from excessive tiredness to loss of appetite, which can lead to weight loss. It can also cause nausea, vomiting, and bloating sensation. People with liver disease can experience abdominal pain and swelling of the um, belly. They may develop swelling in the legs and ankles. Yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes is one of the most important symptoms of liver disease, called jaundice. Now, those who have liver disease may um, see a change in the color of the skin stools and urine. Stools may become pale, urine will become darker. They will complain of itching due to excess production of bilirubin. Some of them will have tendency to bruise. Many people complain of confusion and irritability. Gynecomastia is also reported in people with liver disease and night blindness is due to low levels of vitamin A in the, in the blood. Now, how can we diagnose any liver disease or any changes in the liver? If you have any of the symptoms or you are having any risk factors, it's time to see your doctor. Now, your doctor will ask you a couple of questions to assess your health condition. Do a physical examination to look for any uh, symptoms and then order some tests. The most specific test would be liver function test, which will show an elevated liver enzymes in the blood, such as ALT and AST. These enzymes are released into the blood when the liver cells are damaged. So if there's any uh, increased levels of enzymes in the blood, the doctor may order further tests to check the structure of your liver by doing ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI. Now, if need be, then the doctor may order some specialized tests called fiber scan and liver biopsy. This is essential to check for the extent of liver damage. Some people uh, where hepatitis is, is uh, suspected will also undergo serology for hepatitis. It's just a simple blood test where they look for um, any signs of hepatitis. And serum cholesterol is also essential to find out the level of fat in your blood. Talking about management of liver disease, well the good news is even if you have early stages of liver damage or fatty liver, this is reversible by just simply managing the risk factors and adapting some lifestyle modification. Eating a healthy diet would be ideal which contains low fat and low sugar. Exercising regularly is advisable to shed off the excess fat from your body. Drinking in moderation and people with high blood pressure and blood sugar, blood, high blood sugar need to control them through diet, exercise and medication and avoid any kind of over-the-counter painkillers taking them regularly. Avoid that. We're talking about the diet, here's a list of food that's good for your liver. Apples, grapefruit, citrus, blueberries, grapes, avocados, green leafy vegetables, beets, beetroot juice, and carrots. Fatty fish, olive oil, papaya, aloe vera, turmeric and garlic, walnuts, and among the liquids, tea and coffee. Green tea is excellent for your liver. Coconut water is another option, and lemon juice, apple cider vinegar is also healthy for your liver. So include these in your daily diet and protect your liver from any damages.
Now that's all for today. I hope this information regarding liver, liver disease and how we can protect the liver was useful. Thank you for listening. If you wish to hear something about, leave it in the comment box below. Bye for now.